In August of 1954, the Air Force Ballistic Missile Division of the Air Research and Development Command was created. This special research and development organization was given full responsibility for developing the new ballistic weapon systems and achieving with them an initial operational capability. A study was made of possible locations for a ballistic weapons training and operational site. It wasn't until 200 potential areas were evaluated that the present site of Vandenberg Air Force Base was finally selected. For all intent and purpose, it was geographically ideal, sufficiently remote, safety-wise, from densely populated sections. It faced the broad, uninhabited Pacific Missile Range. Furthermore, the location offered a unique launch point for the more advanced aerospace systems that operate in a polar orbit. On January 1st, 1958, Headquarters 1st Missile Division and its subordinate units were transferred to the Strategic Air Command and placed under the command of Major General Wade. Training the first USAF crew to launch an intermediate range ballistic missile was a joint military industry venture. These men of the Air Force were being trained at the various factories and the technical specialties concerning the missile for which they had been selected trained for the individual roles they would perform in a missile crew. Missile men worked in the laboratories, on the lines, and on the test sites, along with the engineers, who themselves were still studying and experimenting with techniques of rocketry, guidance, and the like. After their extensive course of individual training, the missile men assembled at Vandenberg, where they would learn to work in teams and participate in the assembly of the bird through the maintenance and fueling stages, and covering every phase of activity, including countdown of an actual launch. By the latter part of November 1958, Vandenberg was about ready for its first operational shoot. A Thor intermediate range missile and its transporter were checked out and delivered to the launch pad. Then, on December 16, 1958, two weeks short of a year since SAC took over its first operational commitment, Vandenberg launched its first operational missile. to observe were members of the Royal Air Force to whom the missile would be assigned after they were sufficiently trained at Vandenberg to form the nucleus of our allies IRBM emplacements in the United Kingdom. Even as this first short-range missile soared, much of the knowledge and experience gained from its concurrent research and development contributed greatly to the expansion of the long-range rocket capability.